Hi guys, Bleach here. It's a beautiful day out. Sun is shining. I'll show you. Hold on. I don't want to blind you. <laughs> but the, everything's still here. The three mowers, the MTD, the Snapple LT11, the Massey. Nobody wants me, Bleach. Or oh, nobody wants me besides you. Oh, poor Massey. Poor Massey not getting sold. I, I still got the duct tape on it. Still causes a wet ass. I'll probably have to replace the seat eventually. If it's still here next year, I'm gonna do a, a three prong uh, key switch on there and just wire it up. Like one wire for the battery, one for the the uh, ground on the, the solenoid, and one for the uh, ignition coil. But uh, let's get to the garage and see what I have. You're gonna shit when you see it, guys. Thing is still out here. There's uh, no signs of snow. Let's look what I did to the yard. Oh yeah, making crop circles in the yard, guys, with the Massey. Who the heck is that? Who's that there? Is that my reflection of my shadow? Damn, he looks spooky. Ho, 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 look what Craig's Les Santa brought me. Two more snappers for projects, guys. Now there's five of them. How awesome is that? How awesome is that? Five snappers. Snappers for life. Snappers everywhere. Bleach. Bleach Mikey, snappers forever, snappers forever, forever all time, everywhere snappers, never ending snappers, the snappers forever. Ah, right, I was trying to do a Rick and Morty reference there. Ah, uh, kind of joke. But um, yeah, I got these from a guy on Craigslist, I uh, got them there for a good price. Had to give him 25 uh, to rent his friend's truck with trailer. He, the guy works at the state, really nice guy. Um, let me tell you about these things, guys. Uh, tell you my plans. Uh, this one right here has a bagger unit. It's a high vac. The uh, bagger is probably no good. It looks like the plastic is cracked. The uh, bag was heavily duct taped before it came apart. I could get another bagger for it, but I think I'm going to scrap that idea. The uh, It has a, a chute there, so the grass can still come out without the bagger, which is cool. Um, this engine that was on it, I think it was on his other one. He took the engine off of this one that they currently use. Oh my god, it was fucking fantastic, guys. Guess what it did? It uh, it, The oil cap wasn't on it. And how it broke was uh, the uh, gas mix of the oil, because I could smell it. When it leaked all over my pants and down my shoe. So my good pair of shoes, or sneakers, is now in the wash. I got a different pair of pants on and a different coat. It leaked down my coat, too. Uh, excuse my P's and Q's, my language. I'm just really excited. I just love these things. I want to maybe specialize in sampers on my channel, guys, and maybe just bring back to life as many as I can. It came with an extra tire, which is cool. So maybe I'll have a spare tire in the future for the my uh, samper that I currently use. I want to get an engine for this thing in the future. My plans are to take the engine off this Comet right there. They used to have the 8 horsepower white bricks on there. I was going to mow with this Comet. It's all together. I should just wire it up. And I'll wait on getting an engine on this one. And then trying to fix this one. But it just makes sense to me. The, there's a three prong uh, wire switch here. And uh, hopefully the key switch is numbered. Like uh, B, uh, B for battery and S for solenoid and stuff. It's got the... Three wires right there. You don't really need all this stuff right there. Then a uh, module thing. It's there. Uh, let's see what else. So, I don't know. What do you think I should do? Take the uh, engine off of this Comet, guys? Or just wire up the Comet now that it's ready to go? And maybe I could just uh, take the wiring off of this for now. And uh, wire up the Comet and make a good mower for me. And then put this one on the back burner. I might just do that. That would be cool. Since I already got the three prong key switch. And I can just do a comment in the solenoid. But this thing's big. This would be fun to run. You see the size of the deck on this thing? It's pretty cool. I've never seen one this big. And look uh, how the uh, the diameter of the wheel structure is. It's got an emergency brake on it too. What did the roll right out of my garage. When I was trying to push it in here. Uh, this one over here has a uh, really old gas in there, like full tank of old gas. It's the type that has the key, the kill switch. Uh, the push button switch will not work. And engage the starter, so it must be something wrong with the starter, the wiring. Maybe uh, Mickey Mouse, Donald Duck, and Daffy 
uh, Chippendale, whatever, went through here and freaking messed it up. The uh, throttle is so held open, so it's probably one of those deals where it moves while it runs. I tried to start this thing. It wants to run with bipole starting it. It's got one of these uh, fantastic uh, plastic Tecumseh air boxes on there. Uh, Briggs in the old days, he did metal ones, which is like on uh, this one. And uh, the... Uh, the new one like that I currently use is plastic. I tried the the jump the starter. I think I already said that. Uh, the muffler is in this box right here. You said it had the muffler, but it's there. Uh, it's broke. It's really broke. I don't know if someone cut that or what. I got other muffler to work on it. Uh, this throttle cable is off for this one over here. But um, yeah, it's got a brand new tire on there. It's got the little nipply things on there oh yeah but um it also has got a extra tire which is kind of cool hopefully it still holds air um i'll tell you what i'm thinking get this one running and, and moving uh try to get a starter for it fix it um and move the uh electrical over to uh this one right here and then put this Briggs engine onto this one. Since this one really originally had a Tecumseh on it, or I could put the uh, Tecumseh on uh, this one. But maybe not worry about the starter and just use it as a pull start. But I would like an electric start on it, it would be cool. And then I could take this engine, put it on this one, off of this one. Uh, that one originally had a Tecumseh. But you get what I'm doing here. You, you, you see the wheels turn, and you, you guys have your wheels turned into what Bleachy could possibly uh, do with these. But I gotta get in the house. I'm cooking a turkey. Um, I don't know if I told you or not. I recorded this video several times because I'm trying to do the best possible video for you. I deleted some of the previous videos I had because I didn't like the way they were. But um, it's got an eight horsepower Briggs engine that I. Uh, came off his I believe and he took the good engine off this one for his good snapper and uh, this one leaked oil all down my pants and under my shoe and on my coat uh, the oil plug was out of there I could smell it. there's gas in the oil so that's probably how it uh, seized up so I may try to unseize that engine and try and use it if it would work but I'm not sure if that's even possible because every time I try to uh, unseize an engine you can see it right there it had a rod knock Hit the white one that had the rod knock after I unseized it with a uh, PB blaster and stuff. But yeah, this, this is going to be fun. This has got a regular kill switch with it, so it just push button switch and kill switch. I got to figure out how that works. And just leave it intact, it would work hopefully. No mice and stuff had gotten to it. But yeah, it's got a really nice full tank of old gas in it. You got to love that. Or maybe there's no gas in it at all in these gas tanks are heavy but this is cool I'll be uh, selling these in the future hopefully some might want them snapper enthusiast the guy said he always had snappers and he uh, ran these up to the had problems and he's no mechanic his uh, friend did the engine swap on this one but we'll see here I hope you guys enjoyed this video sorry I'm not working on them in this video but we will work on them Hopefully somewhat during the winter and sometimes during and by spring. Hopefully I'll have them going. Or maybe in spring and summer I'll have them going. But I love you guys and hope you enjoyed this. And we'll see some progress on these maybe in the winter if the weather holds out. If there's snow on the ground, I'm not coming out here and monkeying with them. But take care, guys. Peace. See ya. Merry Christmas if I don't see you again. Bye, guys. Oh, we'll be seeing each other on the uh, Saturday Lives. Take care, guys. Bye.